And here is the Writer's Almanac for Wednesday. It's the 13th of January, 2021. It was on this day in 1968, Johnny Cash recorded a live concert at Folsom Prison in California. He had written his song Folsom Prison Blues years before with the line, I shot a man in Reno just to watch him die. He sold the idea of a live concert at Folsom to his record producer. They recorded two concerts that one day. And four months after the concert, the album Live at Folsom Prison reached number one on the country charts. Johnny Cash, you said, you build on failure. You use it as a stepping stone. It's the birthday of Laurie Moore, born in Glens Falls, New York, 1957, author of short story collections Like Life and Birds of America. Her first book entitled Self-Help, the stories written in the style of how-to manuals, including how to be an other woman, how to talk to your mother, and how to be a writer. Laurie Moore was once asked in an interview why she writes so often about characters who make jokes. She said, I feel that when you look out into the world, the world is funny, and people are funny, and people always try to make each other laugh. I've never been to a dinner party where nobody said anything funny. If you're going to ignore that as a fiction writer, what are you doing? It's the birthday of Jay McInerney, born in Hartford, 1955, lived the glamorous nightlife of fashion parties and dance clubs in New York City, and then moved away to Syracuse so he could write about it in his first novel, Bright Lights, Big City. came out in 1983. Here's a poem for today by Barton Sutter, a poem entitled Hoar Frost and Fog. I walk six blocks to the park, hoarfrost and fog and ten below zero, a full twelve inches of snow. No one believes in the mysteries anymore, but still, once or twice every year, this will happen, hoarfrost and fog and snow, all at once. I don't often notice my breath, but here I am, breathing and breathing, and here is a kid in a scarlet parka pulling a sled through the sugar bush. He knew all along this would happen. I forget, and yet once, maybe twice a year, we enter this other kingdom. We're here, and here is a woman so black and slender and thin. I think of a statue my friend brought back from Liberia. She is wading around with a camera as if she could capture this hoarfrost and fog that is softer than breath. We smile. She hesitates, then decides she will speak. She says, Oh, in my country, where I come from, we have many amazing things, but there is nothing like this. I would like you if you take my picture. I fiddle with the little black box, back off, watch her smile, and say, Can you fit all this, everything inside the picture? Do you think it will show? I don't know, I tell her. I'll try. My fingers are cold, the shutter is stiff, but it clicks. The fruit tree behind her is heavy with frost, the apples are withered but red. There is fog in the background, the snow is nearly up to her knees. I breathe, and I breathe, and I breathe. A poem titled Hoarfrost and Fog by Barton Sutter from Pine Creek Parish Hall. That's the Writer's Almanac for Wednesday, January the 13th, funded by donations from listeners like you, now available on PRX for distribution by your local radio station. Be well, do good work, and keep in touch.